Okay, first thing we're going to do is, uh, go, I went to Home Depot and pick up these bolts. Um, these, I'm going to use a 2x4, okay, as a stretcher. And these are 5 16 by 6 inch clothesline hooks, okay. And uh, so we're going to take these and put these in the uh, wood. We're going to drill them out. Just drill right to the center of the 2x4 all the way through. Make it a real rigid board um, so it doesn't deflect at all. And then we'll have these spaced, you know, three of them here. So it'll be one on one there, one in the middle, and one on the other end. And uh, then in the very center, we'll have this one here. And this one, when you go to the store, it's called a, a eye bolt with nut. Uh, and it's uh, also a six, uh, six inch. It's a three eighths. Uh, you don't have to. You can get something smaller. You can get the uh, five sixteenths like that too. They just didn't have any, so. I didn't care, but anyway, you want something bigger like this because you're going to use it to uh, hold a hook, and these don't really hold a hook straight. Okay, so anyway, that's what we're going to do, and I'll, I'll, once I get it together, I'll again drill out the uh, things. We're just going to have three spots, so uh, take that. Okay, we'll do that here in the middle and on the other end. Okay, so here we go again, all done. I got the hook down on that end, one in the center, and one on this end. Okay, they're all hooked up so they can actually grab a hold of something. I'll show you that in a little bit. Then I got the one in the center here. It's going to pull the other direction. That's going to be the tightener. And that's going to hold the uh, come along slash pull. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and you know, show you what to do with this one. This one here on the pole, you're going to be taking this, and that's why I got the uh, here, because these ones here, it doesn't go straight. You know, it's a little bit of an angle. So that's why I got this eye bolt here. And that's going to hold it and make it straight. Okay, anyway, so you're going to be using one of these, and everyone has these nowadays, you know. If you don't, go next door. They have one and borrow theirs. But anyway, uh, so uh, this is what we're going to use for a come-along. Um, I have come-alongs, but you, you maybe don't, so this is what something you do have. So everyone has a 2x4. Go to Home Depot and buy a couple of hooks. Uh, literally less than $5 worth of stuff, and you're ready to start pulling some chain links. So you're all set up here. I'll go ahead and get started and show you how to do it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, as simple as that. I made the piece. You saw me make it. It has the three hooks on it. You can see them right here. Uh, you simply hook it onto one of your uh, you know, edges, the, the piece to hold the thing. And so this is a, it's an extra one, you know. Take it, put it on there, and uh, just like that. Then you're going to put your uh, eye bolt like there. Hook it on there and then just zip it across. So it's just like that. Use anything. You have a car sitting there, you know, whatever you have. I, I have this little thing here. It's pretty secure uh, in this one pole here. But it, if you don't have that, you know, find a tree. Find anything. It doesn't matter. Just simply pull it across. It stretches it out. And uh, once it's stretched out, uh, then you come back here and uh, find, you know, find the one that's about an inch away from the pole and slip your rod in there. And again, it's the same rod we use uh, there, same kind. And just slip one in. Now at this point, it's all done. It's all stretched out all the way across. And uh, now I'm just going to simply take a cutter and cut these off to a couple of them. And just cut right through there. And this part here will fall away. And I'll take a picture of that. Okay, well there you go. I just simply cut off the other pieces that fell away. Put them on the ground. And it's all set up. Now, you know, I have mine about... Two, you know, two foot apart, these ones here, and it looks like it's a little bit tweaked. You can try to untweak it a little bit, uh, but you might want to put them a little closer than two foot apart. But anyway, so that's it. It's all nice. It's all set up real tight, and now you start putting on your other pieces, you know, uh, your wires and stuff like that, you know, the, the wires that hold and collect these things here. So, you know, it'll work out great. If you have any questions, just write it down below, and I'll, I'll answer them.